Hello, my beautiful Virgos. My name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkerzen.com here to bring you your monthly forecast for will your ex return for January. So guys, you can check your moon, your rising, Venus sign if you'd like more information. And of course, if you'd like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. All right, guys. So what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about how does your ex, the one you're here for, the one you turned on this video for, how do they feel about you romantically? As well as what's blocking you guys? What's keeping you guys from being together? Like, what is the blockages here in your situation? And also, how does your ex love interest feel about having a reconciliation with you? And will you guys reconcile in the month of January? As well as I'll be at the end giving you some advice with the romance angels. And of course, you have free will, so you don't have to take this advice if you don't want to. All right, so let's jump right in. How does my Virgo's ex love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does my Virgo's ex love interest feel about my Virgo's romantically in the month of January? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. All right, Virgos, they feel that you are a person that takes charge of things with the chariot card, that you um, definitely take the rings and you become very victorious here. They feel like you're a person that's very victorious, very in charge, has strong willpower here with that chariot energy. They feel like you are strong and that you have strength here with the strength card. They feel like you have a lot of courage here with the strength card energy. They feel that you are their twin flame soulmate connection here, Virgo. So your ex love interest feels that you are their twin flame soulmate connection. And that Virgo, you fulfill their wishes, nine of cups energy. They also feel that they want a reconciliation with you. They want a fresh start and a reconciliation with you. And they have been reminiscing about the past with the six of cups energy. So Virgo, they feel that they want to take charge of the situation of being victorious. They're trying to gain courage and strength because they know you're their twin flame soulmate connection. They want to fulfill their wishes with you because they feel like they want to heal. They want to recover this situation. They want a fresh start and a new opportunity because we have the child in this card. And Lenormand is a fresh start and a new opportunity. And for some of you, it's because you actually have a child with this person. Okay. All right. And also nines are about attainment. Sixes are about healing and recovery. So what are the blockages between you guys romantically? What are the blockages between Virgo and Virgo's love interest? What are the blockages between Virgo and Virgo's ex love interest? What are the blockages between these two? Why are they not together? What's going on? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, one more time. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. That it feels good. Okay, nine of pentacles, somebody could be focused on themselves, okay? They could be focused on their money here with the nine of pentacles energy. They could be, uh, there could be somebody who is not single and available here with the nine of pentacles energy. There is something that's hidden. There's something that's a hidden peril about this reconciliation or this, this uh, blockage here. There's something confusing, so someone may be confused or someone may feel like there's something deceptive, something hidden here with the moon energy. There could be something to do with a, a new opportunity of passion or a renewed opportunity of passion with this Knight of Wands energy. There may be a, a Gemini Libra Aquarius energy involved with the situation, or there could be something to do with someone who's trying to gain a new perspective, or there may be a little bit of immaturity going on here with that Page of Swords energy. There hasn't been a healing, a reconciliation as of yet. The Judgment card is here, so obviously a healing hasn't taken place yet with that Judgment card. Or someone may have reconciled with someone else, okay? So nine of pentacles could show that someone's either focused on themselves, someone's not single and available, or someone needs to be single and available in order for a reconciliation to take place, which is blocking things. Someone is confused about what they want or as they feel like something's hidden or deceptive about the situation pertaining to a new opportunity of passion or renewed opportunity of passion. 
There may be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius involved with this or something to do with immature energy. The judgment card could represent the fact that there hasn't been a healing yet or because maybe somebody reconciled with someone else. Okay, and one is about opportunity, nines are about obtainment. So let's now see, how does your ex love interest feel about having a reconciliation with you, Virgo? Okay, how does Virgo's ex love interest feel about having a reconciliation with Virgo? How does Virgo's ex love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about, how does Virgo's ex love interest feel about having a reconciliation with Virgo? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. That feels good. All right, let's see here. Virgo, they do want one because King of Cups is telling me that Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, they feel that you would be a wise choice when it comes to love. You know, they want to take a leadership role when it comes to this, that they do love you with that King of Cups energy. And also Kings are really good because it shows commitment and Cups are about romance and about emotions here. Virgo, they, they do want this because they got the Sun card. This would make them happy here with the Sun card energy. Obviously, we saw that with the feelings as well. Um, they want to take a risk. They want to take a leap of faith here with the full card energy. They feel like this would be great. They feel like there's there's great potential here for a potential of a long-term commitment here with the Ace of Pentacles energy, okay? So they want to take a risk because they know that, hey, you know what? Virgo's a really great potential for a long-term commitment here, Ace of Pentacles. Or if you guys were in a marriage situation or a couple situation in the past, they do feel like they'd like to have that renewed, a long-term commitment there. Yep, there we go, Page of Pentacles. They wanna send you a message to tell you that they want long-term commitment or they wanna take a new path in long-term commitment, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So we come back to this again. They feel like you would be a wise choice when it comes to love. They do, they feel like you would make them happy here. And they want to take a risk here to take a leap of faith because of the fact that they know there's potential long-term commitment here. There's great potential long-term here. And they either want a message or they want to give you a message of long-term commitment or they want to take a new path of long-term commitment with you. Uh, ones are about opportunity. So they, they do feel like they want an opportunity here. So let's see if you guys will get back together in the month of January. Well, Virgo and Virgo's ex-love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, Will they get back together in the month of January? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. One more time. Will they get back together in the month of January? Okay, feels good. Okay. Okay, Three of Pentacles tells me that... Okay, so threes are about... Maybe there is a potential of someone looking at their options or more than one choice, three of pentacles energy. The bear in this card tells me that someone's gaining some kind of courage, strength, or con uh, taking control because they want to build something. You know, they want to build something. So, you know, threes go into fours. Four is about stability and stableness. So there is a want to build something here. Six of Pentacles shows me that there is a person here that wants an equal give and take, and sixes are about healing and recovery. And why is that? Because there is a lot of regret about the past. There's, 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 they're really regretful about the past. They're crying over spilled milk here. And King of Wands shows me that you or the other person wants to make a wise choice when it comes to passion and wants to take a leadership role in this because there's passion here. And this King of Wands is looking at this Five of Cups about regret about past energy. Ten of Pentacles tells me that there's long-term commitment, family, and loyalty here. So I see that there potentially could still be another person involved in the situation because Six of Pentacles is next to it. Something to do with an equal give and take or something to do with something that needs to be balanced. And, and or that's the reason why there's a lot of regret about the past five of cups energy. But the 10 of pentacles being at the end of this, it does show me that there is something coming together with you and your ex, Virgo. Because um, this person has a lot of regret about the past because that's the central theme here. Five of cups is in the middle of this. And it's saying that there's regret about the past. There's crying over spilled milk. There's, there's, there is 
an understanding that there's regret here. And sixes are about healing. So there's a healing energy here because someone wants to change because they want to complete this with the 10 energy. So I would lean more towards the yes because, or, or more or less, I don't see a full reconciliation, but there's some things going on here where you're, you're moving towards a change because there's healing, because there's, there's regret about the past. And the 10 shows me that there's a person here that wants to complete things in the relationship. Okay, so let me get some advice for you, Virgos. Can I have some advice for my Virgos pertaining to their ex-love interest and what they should do in the month of January pertaining to their ex-love interest? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, Virgo, you don't have to take this advice if you don't want to, okay? So red flags. Pay attention to red flags here. The, re the signs are warning you or cautioning you. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Or there's something to do with new love here. And prayers and affirmations will help you with the situation. So that explains that Three of Pentacles energy. As I said, the Three of Pentacles energy could show that there was some other person involved. And there was something surrounding an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. And or it was about the fact that somebody wanted to make a wise choice when it came to uh, passions. And Six of Pentacles could show that something wasn't an equal give and take here. So for me, pay attention to red flags, Virgo, because there's something surrounding new love. And Spirit is saying your prayers and affirmations can help bring you guys together. I said that there is a change here and it does look like it's moving in a direction of healing because there is a person here where you guys want to complete this. You know, you want loyalty, you want long-term commitment with the dog being in that uh, Ten of Pentacles card. All right, my beautiful Virgos, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you like a personal reading with me, you can go to my website jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. I have already released what does this love interest secretly want to tell you for January so you can check that out in the playlist. I will be releasing the weeklies again uh, coming up so you can also check out the other weeklies for the rest of this week as well as the general um, love uh, for January which is involving singles, couples, or anyone between or anyone who needs love messages so it's going to involve love and at the end of that, it also involves career and finance. So if you're interested in that, you can check that out in the playlist. I'll be releasing that in like a day or so. So I love you guys so much and have a great month, okay?